guys, today we are going to the Royal Opera House. Are you excited? I am, for a reason. Why so relaxed? Robots in real life? Never heard that before. I am scared. Should I try? Help me! Now let's go in. The Royal Opera House in Covent Garden is one of the world's leading opera houses. The first, the Theater Royal, opened in 1732 before burning down in 1808. The second opened just eight months later, 1809, and survived until March 1856 when another fire destroyed the theater. A third theater, designed by Edward Middleton Barry, opened in 1858. for celebrating Georgiotis' centenary Manon Act 2 and 3. This is the old Royal Opera House. Red carpet means music and singing, which contains full of curl lines. Let's have a look at the different centuries of Royal Opera House. This is a wealthy person called Mr. Beecham, who kindly donated money to the Royal Opera House. Marilyn explained the history of the old convent garden. There are more pictures of this old opera house, too many that I can't even explore all. Look how beautiful this was decorated. walk upstairs together. I couldn't believe my eyes. Look how gorgeous it is. Now, let's head through the Paul Hamlin Hall.
The Paul Hamlin Hall, completed in 1860, was originally known as the Floral Hall and was part of the iconic Covent Garden Flower Market. In this magnificent light-filled hall at the heart of the Royal Opera House, Sip on a glass of champagne while enjoying sharing plates. Let's have a look on different centuries of ballet performances. We will then go visit the ballet shoes that was decorated, while I explain how often dancers need a pair of point shoes. Ballet shoes are made to measure to each dancer's foot shape and preference. Many dancers need to change their shoes after just a day. Occasionally even during a show, if it is particularly demanding, and the shoes are worn though. As a result, Royal Ballet gets 6,000 to 7,000 pairs a year, depending on the program. Made of natural materials, the shoes also have short shelf life even if unused. At the end of their life, the shoes cannot be worn get recycled. I'd love to have a look at the crowns. Looking down from the Paul Hamlin Hall, it's bigger than I thought it was. This is the outside of the Opera House. I have enjoyed my whole tour in the Royal Opera House. I would love to buy some souvenirs. Now the end of the video, if you enjoy the souvenirs but can't go that far. You can shop online at https colon slash slash shop dot row dot org dot uk slash collection slash souvenirs. And make sure like and subscribe if this video helps. Goodbye. <laughs>